Welcome everyone. Today I have the Marvel Legends Black Panther action figure from the Black Panther Wakanda Forever film. Essentially, this has been one of the most anticipated Marvel Legends figures. As to the identity of who is under the Black Panther mask, there is much speculation that it is none other than Shuri, the sister of the late T'Challa. But we will see for certain when the movie is released on November 11th. And I am super excited as the release date nears. Regarding the packaging, you can see a digital render of the new Black Panther on the front. And behind the render is a drawing of her on a dark gray background. Also at the front of the box is the Marvel Studios Black Panther Wakanda Forever logo. On the left side is a very cool image of Black Panther. Then on the right side is her in another pose. At the back of the box is another digital image of the figure and her two accessories are shown as well, which are two alternate hands. Then here's the top and the bottom. All right, let's now get this box open so we can get a close look at the new Black Panther. And here's the new Black Panther. She looks amazing. So let's begin with the head sculpt. The mask design looks phenomenal in every sense of the word. You can see gold and silver trimming and accents on the mask. You'll notice that one of the most distinctive parts of the mask is the tiny dots on the forehead and above the eyes. And these dots look very similar to the ones that are on Shuri's face. So these could give one a clue as to who is under the mask but nothing is 100% yet until the movie is released. The color scheme on the suit looks very good, and you can see the gold and silver detail in various areas of it. Overall, the design looks really nice. Also, you can see a lot of intricate texturing on the suit. Looks cool. Then on each forearm, there's a device of some sort. They might have the purpose of firing projectiles. Then here's a view of the back of the figure. Looks amazing. Here's a look at the accessories. So here's the fisted left hand. Then here's the open right hand. Here's Black Panther with the alternate left hand. Then here she is with the alternate right hand. Here's another view of the figure. And here she is in a different pose. Next, here's Black Panther versus Namor, and it seems likely that these two will have a dramatic confrontation at some point in the upcoming film. Here's a look at all the figures from the Atuma Wave, the Atuma Builder figure, and the Black Panther from the upcoming film. Here's a look at the articulation. Black Panther looks upward quite far. Then she looks down that much. Then the head turns from side to side and it tilts. The arms raise up this far. Full arm rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, Wrist swivel with a hinge. She has a diaphragm joint, therefore she can pivot. Then she moves forward that much. And she moves back that far. 
The legs move out to the sides that far. Then they kick out forward all the way. And they move back that much. Thigh swivel. The legs have double jointed knees, which bend back all the way. The foot has a hinge in it, so it goes up that far. It goes down that much. And here's an ankle pivot. So in conclusion, the figure looks awesome, and the design is top notch. Overall, I am highly impressed by how good the suit looks, and the paint job is excellent. As for the articulation, it's great. Another thing to point out is that the figure was not part of the Atuma Builder Figure Wave, so I think it's safe to assume that it's an exclusive figure. And as we all know, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is almost here, and I am definitely looking forward to the film, as it will honor the late Chatwood Boseman, who brought a lot to the role and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And the film will also reveal who will take up the mantle of Black Panther. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. And please leave a like and subscribe.